especially when Spain and Franco's administration was communist. And you think he's stupid. Well, I don't disagree. I don't <laughs> disagree. trying to pick a fight. He's trying to look at him. I, I don't disagree with that statement, but that's uh -huh. like making the argument that, well, we shouldn't have allied with China then, and we, why are we allying against them now? Well, they're two different countries. Russia isn't the Soviet Union. They don't. They're trying to be. They don't. But communism is no longer really a factor that we need to consider. Well, it did fail. But have you been to Stanford? Are, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you asked people. It's, that's a great point. The threat of communism is greater from our universities than it is from Moscow. No, no. And actually, Lane and Gerald got into a heated ginger snap here, got into a heated argument with Gerald in the back yeah. room. Uh, fisticuffs went flying. And so he said, you know what? Let's just bring and this he on. Submitted, so, he submitted. Yeah, yeah he fine. did. Well, he just started submitting, even though you didn't hit him. Well, that's true. He was he was pulling his best impression of a Frenchman in war. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you look more French than South Korean. You don't look South Korean bit. at all. Yeah. He's got the cheekbones and everything else. Right. Are you part South Korean? He was in South yeah. Korea. That's both where he came my, from. That's where he found him. Mom's mothers are south korean really both of your no. your mom has two moms Mo no this i'm yeah. not a joke i'm talking with dave i thought it'd be funny oh I, I, okay i, I assumed <laughs> look it's no look, it's 2022 i don't know who's got how many mothers yeah. i know we have it's very difficult to track here's the here's the worst part if i was in university right now and you answered that yeah. way we would all have to go mm -hmm. well that's what we all did we kind of paused for a second like you, you have two okay what yeah. I, for, I forgot to check my I'm ah. my privilege. Check a lot of things. Yeah, it's a lot of those. Yeah, privileges. I was visiting my two dad's grave. Yeah, and uh, that's why I was late. Yeah. So <laughs> last week, former Vice President Joe Biden uh, accidentally, which Oops. is always uh, always instills confidence in the commander of the free world, former uh, half Ish. Kamal Harris, <laughs> gave away the USA strategy regarding the Ukraine. I think what you're going to see is that Russia will be held accountable. If it invades, and it depends on what it does. It's one thing if it's a minor incursion and then we end up having a fight about what to do and not do, etc. Did he say minor accursion? My, I, I mean, yes. incursion? Incursion. incursion. I, but it didn't sound like he said incursion. No, no, no. I give him a pass. I just try to assume right. what he's saying right. based on what I hear. Yeah. Brain kind of fills it in. Sometimes you have to have your little, not, little, right. little orphan Biden decoder pen. Well, pretty much. I think he meant to say insurrection. Yeah. I think he no, meant no, to say no. insertion. Erection. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, erection. He was just asking for one. Huh? Can huh? I get one, guys? I haven't had one in a long time. Stat. Huh? See? I don't Alice? want to. Do you see Alice? Oh, I that's code. I took so much of it. <laughs> get I Alice. Slept. I slept late. Yeah. <laughs> I took so much of it. I slept late. I had a heart attack. Oh, yeah. oh, the blood kept me. So look, let me be really clear here because there is going to be a back and forth on this discussion. Yeah. We are not holding water for Putin. I think Putin's a dick which yeah. is what Dave was out protesting, apparently, I until was. four in the morning. Yeah. That's right. Um, and uh, this is my view on Russia. I tend to line up with, uh, with Patton, certainly as it related to World War II and after Oswald. World War II, pre... Uh, yeah, a little bit different boy sharing <laughs> the same name. That is a, that is a problem. Tough. Yeah. I hope when you Google it, it certainly shows up General Patton before Patton. <laughs> we should check that. I certainly sh hope that if I search Patton, it doesn't show me Oswald's King of, Qu King of Queen credits. <laughs> I bet you it does. Uh. <laughs> show. So Patton oh, said uh, near the end of World War II, he said, the difficulty in understanding the Russian is that we do not take cognizance of the fact that he is not a European, but an Asiatic and therefore thinks deviously. That sounds bad. It does sound bad. We can no more understand a Russian than a uh, China man, which is what he said back then, or a Japanese. And from what I have seen of them, I have no particular desire to understand them except to ascertain how much lead or iron it takes to kill them. Wow. In addition to his other <laughs> Asiatic characteristics, the Russian has no regard for human life and is all about and is an all out son of a bitch barbarian and chronic drunk. <laughs> we fought the wrong enemy, though that may not be necessarily confirmed, but it's fun to include. Berlin gave me the blues. We have destroyed what could have been a good race, and we are about to replace them with Mongolian savages, and all of Europe will be communist. Now, to be clear, people tried to say that he was a Nazi sympathizer. That's not what Patton was. What Patton was saying is that there was a threat from Russia and that these were not people who basically wanted to assimilate into Western civilization whatsoever. And, of course, there are alliances that you have at certain points in time. A lot of the time people go, why did we side with the Russians? Well, keep in mind with the Russians, they initially sided with the Germans in World yeah, War II. they were buddies. Until the Germans attacked them. And then, uh, you know, the Germans uh, killed uh, anyone. Well, I, I don't know how, if you take the total number of killed, but, you know, Holocaust is about 6 million. And, of course, you have millions other who were killed yep. in the battles. With Russia, you're talking about anywhere from 50 to 100 million people who are killed, mostly their own. Uh, Ginger Snap, you were writing this out. So y yep. you were also making this argument that uh, the United States sort of created the Russia-Ukraine scandal. 
Right, and this isn't to say that we could guarantee without there the United States. You got to talk into. <clears throat> yeah, the microphone is difficult. Have to talk it's like there. into straight into the just the front of it, right there. All right, I'll yeah. try my best. Yeah. It's not to say that uh, <laughs> he's South Korean. He's directionally challenged. It's not he's to like, say just that try and get him to use his blinkers. Here and the mic pick me up. Yeah. Okay. Now go. Okay. <laughs> I wish I would have missed that joke. <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> I don't think I have any Ambien, but I think I'm gonna have some Lule- Lunesta in the back, as long as you don't mind the uh, the, the LCD uh, LLSD uh, butterfly. Oh, there you go. So anyway, by Ambien I meant Gerald sang me to sleep. Yes. <laughs> The argument that myself and the other writers are trying to make is not that Russia is this great country that should be revered and Putin is this yeah. bastion of conservatism. It is that the steps that the United States have made since the end of the Cold War have led us to what would always be this outcome. Right. Okay. And that is where we lined up with kind of the map we put together and the facts that we want to discuss today. And I know there's some disagreements with the particulars of those, but I think we'll... Don't be diplomatic. You guys were being dicks to each other. That's okay. Yeah. Well, no, I was winning the so, argument. That, that's all there was. Hey, yeah. don't okay. <laughs> I, I, don't taint the jury pool. But, and by the way, right. you guys comment below. People who are watching on YouTube, comment where you line up right now. Should the United States get involved and protect the Ukraine at all? Should they be sending them aid or should we be completely removing ourselves? Do you think this is a case where non-interventionism makes more sense? Uh, many people watching may not ha- have actually known anything about the Ukraine until, of course, uh, Vladimir Putin invaded Crimea. What and I say, how does that work? misleading statement that Russia outsmarted President Obama. Well, he when did. other countries have said that the reason why Russia was kicked out was very clearly because they annexed Crimea. Why keep repeating what some people would see as a clear lie? Well, why it was annexed it? during President... I know you like President Obama, but <laughs> it was annexed during President <laughs> Obama's term. If it was annexed during my term, I'd say, sorry, folks. <laughs> I made a mistake. Well, sorry, folks. President Obama was helping Ukraine. <laughs> Crimea was annexed during his term. <laughs> President Obama was pure and simply outsmarted. They took Crimea during his term. That was not a good thing. It could have been stopped. Could have been stopped. <laughs> and by the way, a lot of you probably assumed that, uh, and of course there have been doctored, you know, propaganda exists. A lot of you yeah. probably assumed that uh, Putin fired the first shot. <laughs> That was for the nerds, and I don't like it. So, but (laughs) it made a point. The Russia Ukraine crisis started long before this. And and, uh, Ginger Snap, you were explaining, and you and Jill can kind of explain the history. After the Cold War, right, the United States didn't really face any global opposition. Right. So that that was a really good way. Like, so we didn't face any opposition, but what we were trying to do, and I'll make my point, and let him make his. I'm not going to make his point for him. Just I'll just so use the, the I'll just knows. I'll just foreshadow. It's a liberal hegemony. Hedge, is the word that we'll use. Hegemony. Yeah, I'm not really sure what it hegemony. means. Hegemony. Don't like but liberal it, hegemony. It ended up at liberal. Go ahead. Right. So it's my point sass. is that after after World War II, we had a very aggressive Russian state that was basically taking over part of Europe so that they could build kind of this buffer between Europe and themselves, right? So I definitely understand that, but it was not just about Russia. It was about the spread of communism as well. Russia has done nefarious things all throughout history, right? So this this has played out over and over again, going back into the late 1800s. Russia in World War I fought against Germany and lost. They were trying to make sure that they could hold on to Ukraine. They were trying to make sure Turkey didn't come in on the wrong side so that they could get their ships out into the Mediterranean. This has been kind of the place that we've had to fight over for a long time. And so when the League of Nations was formed, when we formed NATO, when we formed the United Nations, all of these steps were taken to make sure this kind of conflict didn't happen again, or if it did, that Russia faced a foe that could defend itself. Interesting, they didn't want Turkey to be on the wrong side. Hey, look every to, time. Look to your yeah. I was gonna say, look to any side of you. That's the wrong side. <laughs> the wrong That's where side. Turkey is. You tend to pick always, wrong, always, right? And I, I get that Russia gets pissed off about these things, but it's not like these things came out of nowhere, right? Right. We had to do something to deter this, and the spread of communism was a very, very real threat, right? Especially when Spain and Franco's administration was communist. And you think he's stupid. Well, I don't disagree. I don't <laughs> disagree. trying to pick a fight. He's trying to look at him. Yeah, you what know. did you say about his mom? Oh, jeez. Lovely lady. Nice lady. Dorothy Mantooth is a lovely lady. <laughs> yes, lovely woman. But I, I don't disagree with that statement, but uh-huh. that's like making the argument that, well, we shouldn't have allied with China then, and we, why are we allying against them now? Well, they're two different countries. Russia isn't the Soviet Union. 
They don't. They're trying to be. They don't. But communism is no longer really a factor that we need to consider. Well, it did fail. But have a lot you of been to Stanford? Are, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you asked people. It's, that's a great point. The threat of communism is greater from our universities than it is from Moscow. We should occupy them then. Yeah, I think so. The the argument that's made here is that we're looking at a different Russia after the end of the Cold War. So okay. what we decided to do after the Cold War, and we brought it up earlier, was called this thing called liberal hegemony, which right. is basically that the United States feels, since they're not challenged by another superpower, there is nobody to rival them, that right. they can spread democracy across the world. And by doing this, it'll make peaceful relations between everybody, and no country has to worry about power relationships anymore. And that is the mistake I think our foreign policy experts made that kind of led us to where we are now. Okay, so I would agree with that in maybe the Middle East, right? So with Iran propping up the Shah, we basically set the stage for the Ayatollah to come in and for the there is no stabilizing the Middle East. No. Okay, the Middle East is the world's <laughs> no. Bosu ball. Yeah. There's no way you are ever going to get. Yes, and I, I, it's a balance board. It's a and it's a rigged balance board. Well, yeah, yeah 130 there. God doesn't even want it there. Yes. <laughs> And I agree with that in Afghanistan, right? Afghanistan is known as the graveyard of empires because every empire that has tried to come in and take over a people that should be takeoverable has failed, right? right? The United States included. We weren't really trying to take over. We were just trying to eliminate a threat. So I get that you can't just go and plant democracy in every place that you would like to. Mm. Yeah. And I also get that not every time that we've tried to plant democracy was it with altruistic intentions. We, we had power intentions. We had right. motivations that were maybe outside of that. But at the same time, that, again, to use your point, those countries and the, the problems we had there are not the same as making sure that Russia right. doesn't go on. Well, and I think there's, there's an important differenti differentiation to make. And this is what I would say is I only have an interest in intervening if it directly relates to our national security interests. Yeah. Well, I, don't so, want, I don't believe we should spread democracy spread right. uh, because a lot of nations simply don't want to share our values. That does not work. That's what, th that's, that is what ultimately creates destabilization. However, when we're talking about like China and Taiwan, right? Yeah. We're talking about something that would actually be a security threat, not only to all of Asia, but the rest of the world. Once Taiwan goes, you're talking about them getting really in close proximity to Japan. You're talking about circuit boards. You're talking about all kinds of well, yeah. uh, uh, um, hardware that is important to the rest of the world with Taiwan. You're talking about a real problem with China and Taiwan. Yeah. I think with Russia, it's one of those issues where it's it's a little bit tough because you know, there's still you're still talking about people who are largely like they have a life expectancy of fifty four because they all die of cirrhosis and they poop yeah. in the woods. It's forced labor too that really cuts down on the uh, it does. longevity. So. It does. Makes yeah. them very strong though with their hands. They can dig without shovels. Yeah, they can kill pedophiles and get off scot free. So, <laughs> right, so uh, the last thing I just magic wanna, yeah, yeah, no, go ahead. not fun. the last thing. This is just beginning, this sir. You're not going well, anywhere. It's I mean, only just before beginning. we move on, I kind of want to stress the two points the main points that we're trying to make here is first yes there is time for the united states to intervene when should that be is a discussion right. but right now the world we live in russia is not the place to do so when we have a much greater threat and to who's that greater threat china, china. china. and to try to intervene substantially in eastern europe would also substantially decrease resources that should be available for east asia second off you just said nuke china wow it's not out Why of the would... question. <laughs> <laughs> MacArthur wasn't. Lest MacArthur you wasn't. think he was a non-interventionist. He's like, I just don't think we should spread democracy. I don't believe in liberal hegemony. But uh, yeah, I'm, let's drop the uh, let's drop the a bomb. And the second one is that, like Putin or hate him, he is acting completely rationally as any leader should in his position. As a crazy power hungry psychopath, yes, he is acting like a crazy power hungry psychopath. As a realist, yeah. as a realist, <laughs> right, right, yeah. I just want to make sure we say he's operating in that world, and for somebody in that world, sure, he's operating like he should. Well, you know, listen, there people have good sides and bad sides. I mean, yeah. Gacy could paint. He so could. Hitler could paint. <laughs> Yep. Jeez. I have a Gacy and a Hitler. Do you? Oh, yeah, wow. they're great. You know what? I just I find uh, Gacy's work is just far too interpretive. <laughs> it is. Well, it's it's so, almost self important. What the hell is happening? Yeah, I, I, a I lot think, of a lot of clowns and balloons yeah. and such. And I'm like, why isn't clown murdering anybody? Yeah, pretentious. When 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 Lane was talking about. Uh, Putin, I, th I think what he's saying is just like in the university system, we don't want communism in our university system. I think yeah. he's saying Putin didn't want that in Russia either. Well, what Putin doesn't want is anything that disagrees with Putin. So let's not let's not muddy those well, waters. There's a difference. Yes. It's not like Putin wants freedom for his people and he wants yeah. a strong willed people who understand what liberties are. He wants to arrest and jail indefinitely, you know, a band like Pussy Riot. And that's an important difference to see that rage against yeah. the machine. Um, I mean, look, if I personally could probably write down top five things that would bring a smile to my face. Face, Tom Morello behind bars in a gulag <laughs> would be at the top of that list, Somewhere. but you can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Watch Louder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.